Ashes of Creation is defined as a PVX game, meaning it is essentially player versus everything. Players aren't set out just to take on dungeons and raid with other PVE objectives alone, nor are they strictly set out with the ultimate goal of dominating other players. Ashes of Creation is a bit of both worlds, but with some features that may force PvP a little bit more than others. But does that mean that Ashes of Creation is not the game for you if you don't enjoy PvP? The way the world of Vera and PvP work is, well, you can pretty much fight anyone anywhere you choose. There is no PvP server, there are no PvP zones, the world is open for conflict if a player chooses. You could go after a random noob in a starting zone, gather up some friends and camp a specific point of interest, or even head into a nearby raid and try to delay a guild's progress. But to each of these actions, there is a consequence of what Intrepid is calling the corruption system. The way this works is basically everyone starts out as a non-combatant, which can be identified by green nameplates. When you choose as a non-combatant to go in and attack another player, you will be flagged as a combatant. What this does is basically opens up the PvP playing field, because now as a combatant, any other combatant can attack you and you can attack them without the risk of going corrupt. This state will also be used in around certain PvP objectives, such as caravans or on the open seas, so players can also PvP without that corruption risk. But when you as a combatant go out to attack a player who doesn't wish to engage in PvP and is not flagged, that is when you become corrupt. What corruption does is increases your death penalties such as loot drops and XP dead and can also cause skill and stat dampening when engaged in PvP, which if your corruption score goes too high makes you pretty ineffective. You will also be revealed on the map to players partaking in the bounty hunting system so they can set out to just find you and kill you. The way this system is designed is meant to discourage unwanted PvP such as player ganking and while it isn't perfect it's something I imagine that will have a pretty big focus on testing throughout Alpha 2. There will also be instance PvP as well such as player arenas that will not affect your corruption. So you as a player who may not enjoy PvP at all and prefer sticking to the safer less toxic PvE side of things, this may deter you from the game a little bit because people who don't like PvP would rather not be thrown into the midst of PvP battles on their journeys. This is isn't to say that there isn't stuff for you to do. There are dungeons and raids, some in the open world while others instance preventing outside access. There will be tons of quests and story arcs and crafting to partake on, but guilds and players are capable of camping out and guarding resources. And overall, as I said, the corruption system should help deter players from becoming PvP flagged unless they find the risk truly worth it. With that though, if you aren't in instance content, there is really always going to be potential for some sort of PvP action in the area. You may not have to directly take part in it, but it could impact what you are planning on doing. Because if you're setting out gathering resources and players are camping areas, well, they may not attack you and risk going corrupt to prevent you from gathering things, but they could if they really wanted to keep those materials to themselves. If you're doing a dungeon, you may not have any trouble taking down a boss, but there's always a chance another group could show up and put up a fight for that loot. It's something that at times may seem unavoidable, but it's also a big part of how the game will function. Ashes of Creation is built to thrive off a risk versus reward system and the greatest risk there is will be pvp pvp events will have great impact on the world with guilds seeking to control the economy with resource control drama between nodes leading to war and content being changed and shifted based off the impact of these nodes pvp is one of those things that players will either really enjoy or really hate but it is something that ashes of creation has kept in mind when developing most of its systems players actions will impact the world as i said a node could be taken out from a siege, shifting the content available for other players. A new guild could take a castle from an existing guild, putting that new guild in a higher position of power. Caravans carrying trade goods could be attacked, causing you to fight or lose those hard-earned materials that you were trying to sell at a faraway node, which, if done enough, could really shake up the economy at times as well in certain parts of the world. So are strictly PvE players going to enjoy playing Ashes of Creation? If you can accept that PvP is going to happen, and and it may not be avoidable at all times, then you should be fine. Because while, as I said, you may not be directly involved, it is going to have an impact on your game and is going to affect the content and where you may want to go in the world if you're trying to avoid it. It could throw off a dungeon run or it could change up where your house or freehold is if a node's destroyed. But if you're one of those players who absolutely cannot stand PvP on any level, well, then Ashes of Creation may not be the MMORPG for you.